know it don't make sense to me. What? People using phones taking pictures, so what, they going to be charged too? No, that's, they ex explained to me that's, that's open, but you know, we'll, we'll work it out. It's all good. Um, it's, 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 they say we have professional equipment family. Okay. People say we have professional equipment, yeah. so we're getting taxed a little bit for the camcorders, but you know, it's all good. So family, these are the things that we do because we got number love for you. I want you to see the history, especially if you can make this journey. Oh. You realize that we are at a different portion of Cape Coast Castle, but then we are right now in the dungeons, the place where our ancestors had to be held for at least two weeks or about three months before they were shipped abroad. And as we are in this space at this very time, I want all of us to exercise a minute silence and say a prayer for all the souls that were lost in here. You can call on the spirit of your ancestors you can say their names and, you know, anybody that comes into mind that is very important, that made some changes, please, you can talk about all of them. Right, so this is the men's dungeon, which starts from this room all the way down to the other side. There are five of such rooms in the men's dungeon. It was all designed for at least 700 men or 1,000 men. So if we are going to say 1,000 men in all, then mathematically we will state that each of these rooms held about 200 African men. But then there were buckets provided in the rooms. So if the men and women will want to defecate in everything, they will have to reach to that bucket and do it in it. But for 24 hours and three months of the stay in the dungeons, all the African men were in shackles and chains. If you are in shackles and chains, Holes around here, which will be the only source of light and air, will have no nets covering it. So there were flies that always entered the dungeons. Diarrhea, dysentery, malaria fever, and several other diseases will be very much in abundance amidst people. You are going to make an effort moving from where you are to that bucket, but because of the shackles and chains on you, you will be stored down, the population will store you down. You have diarrhea. Defecating yourself is very easy. That is why majority of the African men and women had to even stay where they are, defecate there, urinate there, and sleep there. And they will be fed twice a day. But you don't eat with the plate. You eat using your palm. And know that these hands will never be washed. Because their last bath was taken about 31 kilometers away from here at a place called Asen Mansu Slave Market. You take your last bath from there, you walk from there to here. Even driving to that place takes about an hour. How much more walking? By the time you end up here, you are already filthy. And food they gave them was nothing to satisfy anybody, but to keep them going from time to time. Because of all these, you will sometimes find African men and women dead in the dungeons. They will never bury them. They just pick up the dead bodies, take them out of here, and drop them into the sea. But if I'm going to drop a dead body into the sea, I know very well that the next day the body will be lying on the shore. That is why they would rather tie the bodies up with cannonballs and drop it so it sinks. And because it was so dark in the dungeons, whenever African men and women were taken out, they normally became partially blind. They couldn't see properly. 
But when the focus, when state trip was almost over, the Europeans decided to stop cleaning the dungeons of the castle. So African servants who were supposed to clean, whenever they moved the population in the dungeons out, they came here instead of cleaning, rather to cover everything up with sand. Know that what you are standing on is the original floor made up of bent bricks and trenches. But then in the other rooms, everything you are going to walk on will not be the original floor. Because it's covered up with feces, urine, food particles, and so many things, which there came a time they covered it up with sand. And whenever they brought African men and women back into the dungeons, everything was so high that they're going to walk on top of it, but it will be up to your uncle level. And that is what we have all over the place. It's solidly piled up on the floor. So hard that when you walk on it, it feels like you're walking on a normal floor, but it's not normal. That is what I call the DNA of the ancestors that stayed here. Well, wonderful people. The floors of the dungeons were built a bit higher than each other. So the first floor is higher than the second, and it continues in that order. There are trenches all over the place which moved liquid waste from each room. So looking at the whole thing, it means that every liquid waste from the first room enters the second, third, fourth, fifth before it enters the sea. How much more the waste from all the other rooms which will end up in the fifth room? The stench from it, the heat from it, and all of that. Because of all these things, people felt really sick. And as I said, people <coughs> died. But then know that the mortality rate was so high because all these Africans that came here were very strong men and women. They survived this, and when they survived this, they ended up surviving the ships, ended up in the Americas and survived it. And today we are here. So this tells all of us here that we are from the strongest of the stock they took. That is why I will always say to brothers and sisters that come here that we are so strong that the sky is not even our limit, it's our starting point. So, we will continue in the other rooms and see more of the place. And please, as I said earlier, your questions are warmly welcome. Please come. <laughs> Thank you. 